we're in your corner with an update on the crew of the Dolly. Lawyers for Baltimore City are fighting to stop them from leaving the country. And tomorrow, we'll go before a federal judge who will decide whether eight members of the crew can go home or will be forced to stay in Baltimore to answer questions. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live in South Baltimore with what's next. Mike. Nikki, that emergency hearing is scheduled for 10 tomorrow morning. We'll be there and promise to keep you updated. Lawyers for the city say they were blindsided when they got an abrupt notice from the ship's owner saying that the crew members would be leaving to go to their home countries tomorrow. I'm gobsmacked that the crew remains aboard this vessel. Veteran maritime lawyer John Fulweiler shares that opinion with many others. For more than 12 weeks, crew members have remained on board the Dolly even after its removal from the disaster site, and they could be there longer if lawyers for the city have their way. Baltimore asked for an emergency hearing after receiving this email from the owner of the Dolly saying eight members of the crew would be headed to their home countries on Thursday and replacements would board the ship as it continues to sit in port at Seagirt. Baltimore's Chicago-based lawyer writing, if they are permitted to leave the United States, claimants may never have the opportunity to question or depose them. That's preposterous in my opinion, as I would think any lay person might feel, given the amount of time since the incident and the fact the crew members have been sitting in the middle of the harbor and clearly accessible, um, as we're doing today via Zoom or likely in person uh, to be deposed over these many months since the incident. Baltimore and other parties are trying to get payback and fighting claims by the Dolly's owner and management company to cap damages at $43 million, the salvage value of the ship and its cargo. They have been required to stay aboard while I submit the executives, the owners, the underwriters, the, the class society that inspected the vessel all these folks have continued on uh, in their normal lives. I find that to be um, personally to be offensive. Judge James K. Bradar questioned whether he had the authority to stop the crew from leaving, yet still ordered the United States shall not deport and shall otherwise take any appropriate action necessary to facilitate the crew member's presence in this jurisdiction until the conclusion of the hearing. According to the ship's owners, the crew's counsel would advise them to plead the fifth to avoid any self-incrimination if they were questioned. WJZ has spoken several times to charity groups assisting crew members who for a time lost communications with loved ones after the FBI confiscated their phones. I've had people from all over the world reach out to offer assistance. I try to pass that fact on to the crew so that they know they're really not alone. The Department of Justice tells us they've interviewed the crew. They have no objection to them leaving. If the crew does leave, the government has blocked them from going anywhere but straight to the airport where they will depart for India and Sri Lanka. And again, we will continue to follow this story. Reporting live in South Baltimore, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, big story. Thank you. Tonight